You asked for it. Here it is. It's a podcast from Apathetic Enthusiasm. Coming to you live from a planet where everything revolves around the 24 hours news cycle. Who's going to jail? Who bought the stonks? It's all packaged up and shipped out in a daily dose. And we're bringing it to you live here on Interdimensional RSS, the unofficial Rick and Morty podcast. Hello, everybody. I'm Travis. Hello, everybody. I'm Brandon, and welcome and we're to. We're gonna go into that octagon. <laughs> ooh, well, only ooh. one of us is coming out alive. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna take the Ricky Morning ooze, and we're gonna bring it to you in cycles. Um, and we're gonna start off uh, with a little bit of uh, social media content. If you want to get a hold of us, go out to twitter.com slash Ricky Morty Pod. You go to Facebook.com slash Rick and Morty Podcast, and of course, if you want to email us, oh yeah, if you want to email us, you got to get down on your email, it's Outlook, Gmail, and go to Rick and Morty Podcast at gmail.com, oh yeah. All right. All That's right. All, all right. Before you have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Um, that hurts. It yeah, hurts to do I, it Like your face was turning red. It was, it was, it was an incredible <laughs> performance. Um, somebody clip that if you're on Twitch. Uh, speaking of Twitch, uh, you can watch us streaming live Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time over at twitch.tv slash apathetic enthusiasm. And if, and if you're busy, we understand. You can also watch video versions at youtube.com slash apathetic enthusiasm. You can follow us around the web, Rick and Morty podcast at reddit.com, Rick and Morty reddit.com. That's where we are on Reddit. And then, of course, Rick and Morty pod.com for the podcast. Uh, oh, finally, yeah. oh yeah! <laughs> uh, finally, you can get over to Patreon, uh, patreoncom slash Rick and Morty Pod. Oh, no, that's not accurate. These links are bad. patreoncom slash Apathetic Enthusiasm. That is where you can support us directly with your love and you know money. Money is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Ha- hi, hello, how are you? Welcome to Interdimensional RSS, the the show where we do wrestling <laughs> impressions. And, That's right. uh, and we talk about Rick and Morty. Um, Brandon, how how you doing? You feeling good? I'm, d- I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling all right. I had I had one drink, but not no more, no less. I'm working my second, okay. um, like a, a pre-show drink, I, I guess you could say. Uh, and and now a, a during show drink. My, like my one prob- bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Okay. Uh, Jack. And my best friend John, <laughs> you know what? All those, all those, uh, all those songs. You know, you know, John's watching this stream, finally going, "Yes, I knew it." You know, he, no, John is John is out uh, DMing some other some other folks in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. That's what he, he's cheating on us. He, yeah, he's he's betraying us. Yeah, actively. Uh, he 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 plays on Monday nights. DM'd on Monday nights. Yeah, can, I know. Can I get an invite? <laughs> See how See how uh, we're, we're not here to talk. We're not here to talk about D and D. We're here for, to... for all of that dish. Uh, make sure to check out <laughs> Apathetic Enthusiasms in the off weeks because yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna, we're gonna be burning John on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> how how are, how are you doing, Travis? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I am in the midst of getting ready to move. Um, everything around me is fake. This background isn't real. This is a green screen. I took a picture of my my office so that you can't see what it actually looks like back there. It's good looking uh, too. Yeah, it's it works. It, the movie magic, right? Um, everything is fine. I, you know, as as you get ready to move, uh, as the seasons change, it is a it, it is the spring coming. The snow is melting. Uh, the weather is warming up, and uh, and I am. I'm just so freaking busy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But uh, I'm excited. I love I love getting to sit down, podcast with you, talk about Rick and Morty, all of the great news and, <laughs> and exciting things that there is to talk about Rick and Morty. Um, so it's yeah, a thrill. So yeah, it's great. It's great. It's a it's th- it's a real pleasure. It's it's a real thrill coming up with content for this show now fortnightly every other week. Uh, because there, there's there's so much of it. Well, the, the thing the, the thing with with coming up with content for for this in 
with that kind of like bi-weekly schedule is we we don't have a good note taking mechanism combined with us we has to sure. we used to have slack but we don't use we don't use slack anymore not, uh, we have discord often. we have discord yeah. we don't we've used that on and off which by we the have, way hey we're on discord if you're on discord <laughs> you should join our discord apathetic enthusiasm figure out how to get there we'll we'll, we'll send you a link sometime <laughs> send us an email we'll send you a link yeah, I'll, I'll figure, I'll figure, I'll figure it out uh, during one of the times that Travis is talking and I'm not paying attention. Um, but, <laughs> but, but yeah, it's it, we so we don't have a, a good note taking mechanism, and uh, it ends up being Facebook Messenger that we just periodically send stuff and we say to each other, "Remember this for for two weeks from now uh, yeah. when we have to record again." Hey, this would be good semi pertinent news. And then two weeks later, we're like, "Is there anything to talk about?" I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think there is. Is there anything going on? Well, it turns out there is in this <laughs> semi-pertinent spectacular that is semi-pertinent news. Do 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 do. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do that. That that wasn't. That wasn't. Even, no, no. Let me. I get a do-over. I get a oh, do-over because there's oh. there's there's, there's the, two ladies seconds. A, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in interdimensional RSS history, Brandon is requesting a musical do-over. Okay. Do 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 do. Ah, damn it! I fuck. I did it again. Okay. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, dun. it's semi-pertinent news. Semi-pertinent main thing. It's a sem. My pert spec spectacular. Semi-pertinent spectacular news, main thing. Semi-pertinent spectacular. There you go. Now the folks who aren't paying, the folks who aren't paying to listen to this, just know that if you if you give us money, that I'll I'll do that. That is. That is All a the perk time. that you can pay for, for, <laughs> for American money. It's on my uh, OnlyFans. That is only that is only a taste. <laughs> that is on our Rick and Morty Pod OnlyFans oh, site. Oh gosh, yep, yep. If you want to see Brandon do that naked, check yeah. out his OnlyFans. Where where I get where I take pictures of na- beautiful naked people, and I, I just put my face on on parts of their body, like a nipple here, but my face, uh, like the the clitoris maybe just like my face right only on only fans rick and morty Pop. uh i was so close to spitting that drink of water all over <laughs> this electronic equipment and uh ruining the whole show um yeah it's so it's, if if you are a longtime listener of the show uh which if you are if you are listening to this now you you've probably been a listener for a, a while because you know rick and morty is not the cultural zeitgeist that it is right now we're, we're still waiting on new episodes uh, but normally we start the show with semi-pertinent news. Uh, we decided to make that the episode tonight. So so we have uh, several stories to discuss, and we are we are going to focus on those. If you have news stories, things that are current about Rick and Morty, or even sort of current about Rick and Morty, um, definitely shoot those our way. We love to discuss uh, lots of that stuff. Um, the first story of the week this is this is one of those stories that we uh shared over social media uh between the two of us and then thought oh this would make make a good news story but i think it happened like almost two weeks ago <laughs> yeah uh and and this this regards uh russian politics a little bit um this is i, I so this is the russian what is it dissident like the the guy the 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 main Russian opposition to Vladimir Putin. Yeah, so, part of the op the opposition party. Op- opposition uh, party. There you go. Yeah, and uh, and so the this is the guy that was he got real sick when he like left the country a while back uh, in in 2020. Uh, not like COVID sick, more like maybe got poisoned sick. Yeah, and then and then by by a, by a Cold War poison, uh, yeah. as 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 they as they say 
in uh, 1983. They call it a Cold War poison in 1983. I, I don't know. I don't know. I was I was I was I was a year old. You know, I don't I don't know these things. Uh, but uh, but it turned he was he was poisoned. Uh, he was he went back to Russia uh, where he w- was was going for an appeal where they're they're trying to they're trying to arrest him right uh, for uh, for things that, you know, I forget, you know, whatever Russia things. Right. Um, and, and that is a, at, at his appeal hearing, uh, where they basically denied him appeal and then were throwing him in prison also for something, uh, what some, um, uh, saying that he's like, this is the hard hitting news you get on only Nazi. On what, whatever, what, whatever, whatever. Anyways, the, the, the thing is he did, he did a speech and in the, in his speech, he, he referenced Harry Potter, uh, Voldemort, if you will. And, why this is semi pertinent here is he mentions Rick and Morty. As a matter of fact, this this Russian dissident, <laughs> part of the opposition party, uh, he quotes Rick and Morty. He quotes, "To live is to risk it all. Otherwise, you're in just an inert chunk of randomly assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you." Yeah, there you he, go. He, he's saying this in a, in a, in a trial in, in, in Russia. Uh, and Which, he's he's quoting pop culture like that not, not, quote that quote on its own like pretty pretty legit quote for, yeah. for the circumstance and everything. Um, yeah, no. The fact that it comes from Rick and Morty is like next level. But then also, this is this is like the second bit of of related news where when he was flying back from I think it was Germany to Russia. Uh, mm-hmm. to go and and go through this trial process and everything like that. Um, there is a picture from the flight where he and the person he's sitting with have like, I don't know if it's like a laptop open or something, but they're watching Rick and Morty on the plane. So guys a, guys a fan. guy he is he is he's he's into the show. Um, yeah, and, yeah. and now he's probably gonna have plenty of time to watch it. It sounds like I don't know. You I don't know. know if, I don't know if they let you have access to HBO Max. In uh, the gulag. In, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> in, in Russian prisons. <laughs> they they um, they may they may not. But you know, like I will say that he's probably a bigger fan than 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 I am because if you were to if you were to pull that quote out of nowhere without any context, I would I wouldn't have I wouldn't have no. taken that that been like oh yeah that's a that's a the Rick and Morty quote um, from that. That's definitely a situation where somebody like types up what he says at the trial into Google and then goes, "Oh wow! Oh, that was from Rick and Morty, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, and it had to have been like that, right? Because uh, for for uh, there had to have been you know translators, Russian translators, because he uh, you know he's he's probably not speaking French at a, a Russian trial, and uh, and then like types it up, and then like the BBC or or whoever checks it first is like hey what is that what is that quote from he must have written it he must have written let, it let me let me toss it into uh master of all science.com <laughs> <laughs> oh it uh, turns out this is actually a quote from a <laughs> uh animated uh drunken scientist uh on adult swim huh well what do you know you know what hey i, I don't i don't know if i can do this but uh i think you should free him at the at the at the very least, so give you know, don't put him in jail. There you go. There you go. I I I like to I like to envision a scenario where he's flying back, binge watching Rick and Morty, and then like on the plane, and that's when he like hears the quote, and he's like, you know, that's a pretty good line. Write that down, and <laughs> and then just and then like a couple days later, end of the trial, he's like, all right, pull that post-it note out from the plane. <laughs> pull, pull that, pull that, pull that airline napkin out that we wrote that quote down on. Uh, so anyway, yeah. um, well, anyway, yeah, yeah. Russian hey, politics, the, am I right? Russian, Russian politics, am I right? Uh, usually, we we save the Russian politics for the end of the episode, but we but we thought this was probably probably like top top shelf. We wanted to get that right in front of you, uh, get you thinking. So we can talk about the, the rest of the these semi perks that we've got coming up. Uh, the the second semi pert, while I, before the sh- before this podcast started, I was having some internet issues. I restarted my router, but while that was going on, Travis showed 
part of the semi-pertinent news that we were going to talk about, which is Solar Opposites Season 2 is is on its way this month, March. Uh, lousy March weather. Yeah, yeah. March uh, March 26th, uh, Season 2 lands on Hulu, the Hulu exclusive, uh, coming back with eight all-new episodes, uh, only, on, only on Hulu. Again, Justin Roiland. Uh, uh, Mike Let's McMahon. Do. Mike McMahon. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I, oh, I can I not think of He listens name. to the show all the time. I know. Mike McMahon, Mike come talk to us. Uh, come come on the show. We'd love to talk to you about Solar <laughs> yeah, Opposites. Tell, tell, tell Travis, hey, why can't you just remember my name, I know. Pal? I know. I can't remember Brendan's name half the time. So <laughs> Bre- uh, Brennan's? Did you just call me Brennan? I did. I, did. <laughs> I, I hate you. <laughs> That's not a real name. Uh, oh, sure it is. Sure it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Solar Opposites is coming to uh, Hulu. They're, they're back. Um, we, we did a Solar Opposites episode, I believe, um, uh, on Interdimensional RSS. We did, I, yeah. I, I thought it was a great initial run for the show. It looks like they're back to the same old hijinks. Um, a lot of current sort of topics in, uh, in the episode, they're talking about having to wear masks and things like that. So, um, I, it seems like the animation process for this is maybe a little bit faster than Rick and Morty has been because they've been able to write and release episodes, uh, a little bit faster. Um, so, so that's, that's interesting to see. Also, they're all being released like at once, which I don't know. Mm. I don't know how that factors in either, but that uh, those are those are both interesting things that that you brought up. Uh, I think I think we talked about this when, on the Solar Opposites episode where we were saying like, okay, they're announcing a second season, second and third season already, right? Yeah, because uh, they got renewed for a third season, um, and. It's like wow if they're if they're coming out with episodes already uh and we already knew like season five was was done we knew that season six was getting started on at the very very least at the, at sure. that point in time yeah um and it was like okay fall fall of 2020 we should see something spring of 2021 the latest we should see something uh in in and we're and we're not there yet so um, or nor have we heard any news whatsoever about it um Right, when we talk about a Rick and Morty podcast having a news spectacular, at some <laughs> point we should get to some actual Rick and Morty news. Unfortunately, there isn't much to speak of. No, so. it's a semi-pert spectacular yes, here. Exactly. We 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 leave Rick and Morty out of it. Basically, we it's not in the title of the episode. If you notice on the title, it doesn't say Rick and Morty semi-pert spectacular. It just says semi-pert spectacular. So just you know, keep that in mind. Yeah, expectation uh, management. All right, let's let's, uh, <laughs> let's keep it real. So if you like if you like Solar Opposites, uh, you know if you're excited about that, let let us know about that. I I will check it out. I I like the first season. Um, you know, you just got to change your your mental mode just a little bit to to know that it's not Rick and Morty. It is something different. Um, yeah. but I, but I still enjoyed it and, uh, yeah, I look, I look forward to it. Um, just like, uh, just like, uh, I look forward to the announcement a couple weeks back. It was like a month ago where they were like, you know what? It's been a while since we've had done a Harmontown. Why don't we have ourselves a little Harmontown reunion? So in this semi pert spectacular, we're going to talk about Harmontown again. <laughs> <laughs> um, this this has been a reoccurring uh, mention in our in our semi pertinent news, but uh, finally over over the last two weeks, uh, the old gang got back together to have a have a town meeting and discuss their plans for colonizing the moon. Uh, it, it was a Harmon Town reunion uh, for the ages. Uh, this 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 was a an online only experience. Uh, they they sold tickets. 15 bucks got you access to a two hour live stream. Uh, as, as we mentioned before, Jeff B. Davis, your comptroller, uh, Spencer Crittenden, your dungeon master, obviously the mayor of Harmon town, Dan Harmon. Uh, we had Rob Schraub joining, joining the group, uh, as well as, uh, some special guests. Um, Kumail Nanjiani was who is apparently like a long time, like presence on Harmontown, but is in the void of 
episodes of Harmon Town that I never really listened to. Like I I I started listening to Harmon Town well after Kumail like s- stopped being there regularly. And then um and him and Emily Gordon, his wife, who was also on the uh on the special. Um and, and now I'm catching up to old with old episodes, but we haven't gotten there to in in my in my listening to the old episodes where where Kumail is is hanging out Kumail and Emily sorry uh so so yeah anyway Brandon yeah I I I, I watched it live over over two thousand people t- tuned in live as it was happening to watch <laughs> this live stream are you are you gonna are you gonna call me out for for, for not being one of them a little bit <laughs> a, for 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 maybe going a whole week. And then being like, oh, yeah, I should really watch that and nearly missing it because <laughs> the website had expired by the time that you decided, oh, yeah, I should check that out. Yeah, that, that's that 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 is, that is true. So you uh, to to watch this this Harmon Town reunion, it was fifteen dollars and you, you go to a site uh, and you'd watch it through Vimeo live. Uh, and then it's like, well, seven days later, it'll, it'll expire. So uh, February 28th is when it's supposed to expire. Well. I I bought a ticket because I I wanted to watch it live and and for whatever I forgot why I didn't um maybe maybe it was just like really tired that, I, that I think you had like stuff that. going on and um oh the I, house. I was I was chatting with you we're all, we're both dealing with house stuff and it yeah, was like that's right. oh I'm dealing with stuff I'll watch it a little bit later yeah I was like well yeah. I'm gonna watch it live and see you know I I I made it appointment viewing for me I was like I'm Got I'm gonna it. check this out. Also, because I never like attended a Harmon Town in person, I was not a regular subscriber that like paid money for the video version of sure. it. So I was sure. like, oh, I'm gonna this is this is my moment. This is my moment to be part of the Harmon Town experience, Harmonian experience. experience, as it were. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that that was that was that was Sunday, um, and then it wasn't until today. Uh, that was like, oh, you know what? That's something we could talk about tonight. Oh, I didn't have haven't watched it yet. I should watch it. And I was like, oh shit! I, I hope it didn't expire. And you're like, yeah, no, I think it expired yesterday. I'm like, oh no. And so this oh, no. morning, this this morning, I was like, okay, I'm uh, let me let me let me go. And I I, I pulled, pulled up my ticket. I went to the site, and it says this video expired 28 February. I'm like, god damn it! But the video was still there, and then I pressed play. And the video started playing. Like, well, I guess I'm. I guess I guess I'm good. Okay, uh, so and, we're doing this. Uh, I had I had to I had to go to work today, which my my job is like forty minutes away. Um, and so I'm like, okay, that that's great. I can I can watch you know, three quarters of it uh, before I get home all the way. And then I had to go get some food at the you know at a drive-in. And so then I I, I had time to finish it up all all the way. Perfect. Uh, Basically, I watched I watched the whole thing. The, uh, let me let me just say, I watched the whole thing, um, and that's the news. That's the the whole. <laughs> that's, that's the, the whole. news. Is that I watched it. <laughs> um, I will say the first thing that stood out to me on this Harmon Town, um, obviously no live audience, which no. like at least not one that could be clapping or reacting. Um, yeah. A huge part of uh, a lot of Harmon Town was that interaction with the fans, bringing people up on stage, um, you know, having that almost conversation with folks. There was a period in time, I don't know, 2019, uh, I think, where th- where they went into a studio. I, like, they didn't have a venue for a while, and so they were recording the podcast without without an audience. Um, so, I mean, it's not, it's not like it had never been done before, but this was the first time where they weren't all co-located, at least. All recording from the same place this was done over zoom uh you had some some very like classic now like things that we've all come to know and and understand very clearly after a year of of COVID-19 and and having virtual meetings and everybody now knows what zoom is when most people didn't know what it was before March of last year so like Jeff had a virtual background on for for most of of his his time on the on the show. Spencer looked like he was on this podcast, like he was <laughs> like he was recording 
in you know some random room in his house where he probably also uses the computer and does some gaming or something uh dan keeping it consistent recording from his closet which is the same (laughs) closet where he appeared for san diego comic-con last year as well as adult swim fest yeah Uh, and probably most of his uh i don't know like writing meetings like from where i i think he just lives in that closet now so (laughs) it's i'm I'm sure it has wonderful acoustics right just like i took everything out of this room so now that there's the echoes are bouncing all all around the walls i bet that's not what's happening in his in his closet it's just in his batman cowl it's just just going the 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 sound is being dampened his, it's great. His box O Emmys that's just thrown <laughs> over in the corner. Um, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's I don't. What were your What were your impressions of the conversation? What did, What did you think? Uh, it, it it was good. You know, it was in my new car, and so I could I could hear just very clearly uh, the, the the discussions that were going on. Um, they, were, they they talked about the pandemic. Uh, uh, the the G- Come on. Yeah, yeah, the uh uh his vaccine that he's going to make which is oh, just garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Um and uh you know just that little bit of, of conversation. Um it was just it was interesting listening to them talk because as as I was listening to them talk, I was thinking yeah, you know, they're they're just they're just people talking into a microphone um in in other other than their their fame that they have already. Like if I didn't know that they had uh, fame in some way, shape or form sure. already. I wouldn't, I would be like, Oh, these, these are just, these are people like us podcasting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, Shrub drinking way too much water. <laughs> Shrub drinking way, way too much water. I, I was, again, I was driving, so I didn't see a lot of the, the visual gags, sure. uh, that, that might've been going on. Um, but I did laugh, a, a laugh out loud a couple times. They were talking about Minecraft very, very toward, towards the end. Uh, Spencer talking about like the stuff that they added to Minecraft uh, since vanilla. It's like a completely different experience. Uh, and then Dan was like, yeah, I just wish they would come out with like better ways of better things of, of organizing the hopper with and, and Shrab just leaning to the side boards. Like, yeah, I, I can't wait for him to add those things. <laughs> <laughs> Trob always seems so annoyed by the fact that he even has to be there uh sometimes. And then and then he'll just I don't know, he entertains himself. He 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 finds ways to keep himself occupied. Uh I, I found it interesting. I I did sort of sit down, like I said, like appointment viewing where I was like, All right, I'm it's it's gonna be like eight o'clock or whatever time it started. I'm gonna turn it on, sit back, enjoy the show, and I start watching it, and I'm like I bring it up on my computer. So I have it up on, I have a TV like as part of my computer setup. Right. And so I have it up on the TV and I'm just watching it. And then like, I open up a window on one of, one of my other monitors and I, I start opening up Photoshop and I start like playing with some images and stuff. And then after a while I realize I have fallen completely back into my, my traditional podcast listening mode of like doing a task while listening to a podcast so so there's definitely a period of time where i'm like playing around in photoshop while just listening to the conversation occasionally like refocusing all of my attention back on that but uh i don't know it's just it was fun having having that group back together um some really great conversations it was it was fun listening to them and uh hopefully they record i don't know either the audio version of this or I, and, and post it back on their feed or I, I don't know if that'll happen, but, but that yeah. would be cool. So everybody could get a chance to check it out. Well, uh, one, one thing that, that, that came up during Harmontown and, and we'll, we'll bring this back to the, to, to semi, semi pert, uh, we're, territory we're like way out on the semis <laughs> right now. Okay. Uh, but, uh, they mentioned something and I'm not going to make you sing the song because I'm going to, this is, this is going to count as, as the the media minute right okay uh we're not we're not we're not gonna pull we're not gonna give him like a two we're not you know, he does he a lot one. but he you get he gets one dan one until and you come on the show and talk to us <laughs> which i uh, have so much anxiety would, thinking would about scare that scare the crap out of us please yeah yeah you should you uh, should basically. do it dare you dare you dan <laughs> dare you dare you you piece of shit he's like i'm um, not doing anything you want it, you want me to hop on right now 
uh, <laughs> um, w- one thing that came up was we we had a segment called the Dan Harmon Social Media Minute, and it was basically whenever he posted something on Twitter uh, that we would catch that, read it, and then we we talk about it. Then it switched to he he he. He left Twitter entirely, and he went to Instagram, and that's when we started posting songs, him him doing workouts, and, and that type of shit. Um, well, something that came up on Harmontown was the acknowledgement that he has been guerrilla twittering uh, with a with a very low follower Twitter account, uh, and the, the conversation was all about how be, because he doesn't have a lot of followers, he remembers how much getting a like or five or 10 feels and it's like ooh ooh give me give me give me all your likes maybe i'll be somebody somewhere <laughs> some sometime right uh and the acknowledgement he's like uh you mentioning that on on an advertisement something that's what he got the most likes on and he got like 50 likes on a, on a on an advertisement right and he was just it was it was blown away by it so in honor of Dan Harmon coming back to Twitter, here's my here's my call to action. Uh, Twitter sleuths, <laughs> see see what you can find. Uh, see if you can see if you can find Dan Harmon because F- the find, Dan Har- find Dan's hidden tw- Twitter. The, the Dan Harmon social media minute is back. Uh, I, I mean, it never left. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's been around. It's been. But around. we know he, his we know he's is, out there on Twitter. His beard is so long. He is. I don't know that he's yeah. he's done any real grooming. That in, might be uh, where his Twitter feed's time. hidden. It's hidden in his beard. That's, it's hidden that's in where his beard. Is, everybody. <laughs> um, speaking of speaking of Dan Harmon, um, Harmon Town was great. If you get a chance to check it out, I know somebody's already posted the video out on YouTube. Um, I don't know the legalities of that or whether or not that's cool, but if you want to find it, you can find it out there. Um, I'm quite sure of it. Uh, but. At, we talk about Dan not being busy. I think I think the man has been very busy. We 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 talked in the last episode about the deal that he just got with Fox uh, about a new animated series, um, and he is still putting in the time on Rick and Morty. As we all know, Rick and Morty has that seventy episode deal. Um, lots and lots of Rick and Morty coming our way in the future. And recently, uh, a tweet from someone on the writing team. Uh, was released. This was from Alex Rubens, who said, am I allowed to say we started writing Rick and Morty Season 7? If not, we didn't, and I'm not. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this this tweet basically all but uh, ensuring that, that Season 7, that's right, you heard me correctly, Season 7 of Rick and Morty is already underway and in the process of being written, which means not only is Season 5 all done, but Season 6... Uh, is at least down on paper and in script form, which is, I don't know, for me is still really exciting to hear and continues to make me hopeful that we will reach a a period of consistency with Rick and Morty releases where, I mean, I mean it doesn't feel that way right now, but hopefully the breaks will continue to be um, shorter and shorter uh, between seasons going forward. You know, if if we take a a sliver of time, a lar- a, a small sliver of time, you might be like, "Wow, they're really, really inconsistent." But if you expand, if you if you make a, a bigger slice, yeah, and say like like an epoch, yeah, if you um, look at all of human history, uh-huh. if if uh, yeah, what what like is- this 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 sliver of the entirety of human history, Rick and Morty has been super consistent, man. Absolutely. Second, and, second, and, second to the dinosaurs. As a matter of fact, I would say. Yeah, the, that's not the, human history. Throughout, but. throughout the Anthropocene, <laughs> uh, the 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 Rick and Morty consistency, uh, and honestly, the fact that they've had such long breaks between seasons, by definition, is consistent. I would just like it to be less <laughs> consistent. I guess I, I would like it to be uh, more free, frequent. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I I I feel that the show is 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 coming, uh, you know, hopefully soon. into its own. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we have zero information, unfortunately, about uh, when we will actually get to see the show. So we are as excited as everyone else is for for news from Adult Swim, 
when uh when season five will arrive and yeah you know we'll 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 be here for it we're here for it it, guys we we can't wait and good news for those listening it'll probably be while we're in the throes of moving to other states good news i have a virtual background now that makes it look like (laughs) i can podcast in this room from anywhere good news i'll be living with my (laughs) in-laws listen we're in for some weird podcast this year all right 2021 is a year of brandon quit quit banging my daughter (laughs) like it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be great i'm I'm looking forward (laughs) but you, you will be here all the same um, something, something we didn't write here in the, in the notes, uh, there are a lot of Rick and Morty comics and I, and I know this because I, uh, I stopped by my comic shop after like three months and they're like, Hey, Brandon, welcome back. Uh, Rick, Rick and Morty comic. There's like Rick and Morty. Uh, we talked about Rick and Morty go to hell. There's Rick and Morty ever after. Uh, there's another Rick and Morty presents out, out, out there. Um, I haven't, I haven't read them. I have a stack of them, uh, in, in, in my my comic book folder whatever but again i had the cleanup because uh you know showing my house and stuff like that uh so i haven't i haven't read them yet so i, I ask if anybody who, who is if anyone has read them as i know uh scary terry folds has uh hit us up and, and let us know what you thought of that um but uh, speaking of merchandise we mentioned this before i'm pretty sure but if we didn't funko released uh the a couple of pops from the funko fest uh, you can, you can go out to Amazon right now and pre-order them. Uh, but they have Balthorma, the, 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 the slut dragon. Uh, yeah, I think that that's like a big one too, isn't it? I think that's like a, like an oversized pop. That's, uh, it's, one of the, one of those, you know, like those really big ones that you yeah. find it in the, the back of your target store or whatever, wherever, the, wherever your target sells the oversized pops. Yeah. Uh, it says it's three by four by six inches. So... Oh, okay. Um, so is it not? Is it not a big one? I, I don't not. think it. Uh, it uh, I don't think it is an oversized. It's only twenty bucks. So, yeah. All right. um, never mind. That's it's it's too bad. It's it too, says super sized pop underneath it in this picture. So uh, maybe maybe it's six, just six inch. Maybe how it's big, just slightly how, larger. I, if yeah. if it if it said like three inches, I would know exactly how how long or tall that is, right? But it does. It says six. So I'm like, you know, I can't I can't think beyond who, that. Who could say? Who could say? Who can who can say? Um, but also uh, the uh, the the Rick with a little oil can on his head with the uh, the URL the like, the, the yeah. QR code uh, QR yeah. code yeah yep 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 um, and then uh, the uh, Glorzo uh, Rick and Morty those <laughs> Which, ones are great. I also really like the uh, Funko dot com exclusive which is a morty pop holding a rick pop that's <laughs> yeah. that's kind of meta i i really i really like that one that's good yeah one, one of the yeah the uh one of the yeah we, we had talked about this before because then i talked about the uh the symbiote studios plushes the the rick yes the rick fan morty uh but yeah those, those some of those are only going to be a target uh some of them are going to be on amazon i know the balthorma is uh but uh but go check those out uh, gotta have my pops. Gotta have know. those Glorzo, glory to glory to Funko Glorzo. Glory to me. We got <laughs> We gotta get Ryan Elder back on the show. We got it. <clears throat> somebody, to... somebody, somebody, remind us in the post show or something. Um, <laughs> but you know, as we talk about comics, as we talk about pops, um, the center of comic books and pop culture is and f- forever will be San Diego Comic Con. And unfortunately, this week we got uh, a little bit of sad news. Uh, COVID strikes again, and the San Diego Comic Con is officially canceled for 2021. It, it it will be moving to a virtual environment, just like it was last year. Um, I don't know. I I was iffy about San Diego Comic Con last year. We had we had a lot of um, I don't know feedback that 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 we that we. Uh, we, we felt like it didn't feel like a cohesive event um, yeah. last year. So I really hope that they continue to build on the lessons learned from, from last year and they can, they can make it really interesting. I, I hope we see a Rick and Morty panel there. Uh, maybe there, th- that could be a time for some exciting announcements. I, I would love to have already had episodes before San Diego Comic-Con <laughs> happens <laughs> Because we're talking like middle of summer, but 
yeah, usually usually there's some good Adult Swim and, and, and Rick and Morty stuff happening at San Diego Comic Con. So we'll 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 see um, as as the plans continue to develop if if anything comes out of that. But yeah, 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 yeah. If if they, if they don't if they don't start episodes by you know April May, uh, then it's it, it's like it's like we're in for a late summer at the at the earliest probably right because you, yeah. you don't you, you don't, don't premiere you don't, you don't premiere in summer come on you don't premiere in june you know people, well, people are out you know having their barbecues and they're <laughs> hit, hitting the hitting the, the links. water skis and stuff the boogie <laughs> boards you know how them kids are always the, playing the on boogie the... boards the boogie board hurt my shoulder because, uh, like, a, I was I was just sitting there in the, in the waves in Hawaii, and then the wave caught it and like yanked my arm back. And uh, I've had I've had shoulder issues ever since. So I wow. do not body board. I do not do it. I love I, I love me some love me some boogie boarding. I refuse to it. <laughs> uh, but speaking of, speaking of boogie boarding, uh, one thing we we do is we like board games, and we do. and one of those board games that we like to play is uh is Catan. <laughs> well, we're not talking about Catan here. What we're actually talking about is is a uh, tabletop role playing games, which you could some people could call them board games. Uh we don't. Uh but we use it as a segue, a very 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 loose loose segue, right? The loosest it's the loosest of segues. It's yeah, so like loose. like when you're driving to uh like a uh, uh, Las Vegas, it's like we got the loosest slots. No. We got the loosest segues here. Here in uh, in Irmashara says. Anyways, so uh, the Rick and Morty Twitter account recently tweeted out a an image, and it's the the D and D alignment chart, but it has a bunch of different Ricks on it. Uh, and um, I, I don't know if you have a picture on there, Travis, for for the folks in in the. Uh, uh, let me see. Switch. If I can bring this up. But uh, so if if you don't know what a D and D alignment chart is, it says whether you're uh, lawful neutral or chaotic and then lawful good lawful neutral lawful evil so on and so forth so you have you have good neutral evil or and whether you're lawful neutral or chaotic and in, in that way and and there is a rick associated with each of these things so in the top left corner you have you have doofus rick who is a lawful good in the bottom right corner you have chaotic evil rick which is uh the uh the, the evil morty's evil morty's rick um and you have you also have you got uh uh let's see who else you got like seal team rick uh you got uh the the rick from uh who um from the flashback the the one who wore, wore the brown pants, brown pants. <laughs> yeah yeah uh <laughs> the the simple simple ricks uh uh neutral yeah, like good is like the simple ricks uh, we we t- we took that memory, and we feed it to <laughs> yeah. him, and that's how we yeah. make simple Rick simple way for cookies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, n- neutral evil is is Rick when he's going down into the microverse and he's flipping people off, it's like a uh, piece among worlds. Peace among worlds. Yeah. Uh, and then the Willy Wonka Rick <laughs> is is, la- is lawful evil. Uh, yeah. so anyway, so so Travis, looking at looking at this chart, knowing how you play D and D, uh, which which one of these do you find yourself uh, aligning with? So I think uh, in, in terms of our last campaign, uh, I played Montana James, who was an archaeologist. Um, and for the most part, I played him as like a, as like a lawful neutral character, I think, because he, he, he definitely seemed to follow a set of rules. He had, he had a definite, um, I don't know. Like he 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 had like a, a a way of living where he 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 wanted he had something that he was going for and and he believed in the things that he had learned. But then he died, right? <laughs> and and in the course of the campaign, he died. And then he felt more toward that like chaotic side at times. Um, definitely not necessarily evil for the most part. Maybe even leaning good. But there were times where I I tried to play him as certain things where it, like. It didn't always make sense. It didn't always make sense why he was doing something, mm-hmm. um, and I think that I, and I and I attributed that to to the fact that he um, had had died for for a quick minute, and he <laughs> he brought something back uh, with him that was a little a little bizarre. I don't know. What about you? What where where do you think you fall on this this chart? Uh, where 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 do I fall on the, on this chart? I 
I normally I end up playing like a I, I I tend to go with the the chaotic good just because that means I get to do stupid shit right sure uh well maybe not chaotic but like chaotic neutral where like generally I do good stuff but also it gives me a, a reason for for John and I to to troll whoever the DM is at the time right I feel like <laughs> I feel like you definitely fall in that chaotic column. Uh, in in a lot of your your gameplay, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little little, little, little wacky, a little wacky. Uh, so maybe uh, I, I'll say I will say chaotic neutral is probably where I would where I would fall. Um, but I don't wholly disagree with uh, with the ricks that are on this this alignment chart. I, I don't fully agree. Like the 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 rick that I like the most is the piece among worlds rick. And and to me, he is more of a uh, a neutral character uh, because yeah. he's not, you know, he's given he's giving the people a purpose, create power. You know, they they have a society. He treats them right, right. He gives them he gives them parades. Uh, he gives them a way of he gives them a he gives them life. Uh, and that's that's not evil. That's that's not an evil thing. No, no. Um. So in, in I mean in, I mean I guess the fact that he's you know, like enslaving like entire planets and then planets of planets of civilizations, like so that he can make his car start. Okay. Some some may call that evil. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's slavery, slavery with X two steps. Yeah. Uh I but I think I think he's more of a chaotic uh chaotic neutral uh, or almost a chaotic good. Uh, rather than a uh, than an evil character, but I, uh, I think I think this spawns into like a whole other discussion about what Rick's true alignment is, and yeah. that could probably oh, that yeah. could probably be a whole segment in and of itself. But be a whole episode. episode. <laughs> Somebody write it down. We get, we got next week's episode all figured out, uh, <laughs> unless we get unless we get more semi pertinent news to discuss. Um, speaking of more semi pertinent news, I think that about covers. Uh, all of the news stories that we came up with, um, we do have uh, a special bonus segment. Uh, this is something that Brandon has really been excited to to, <laughs> to bring out, uh, and it's this week's Reddit post of the week. Uh, we we have been talking about uh, the Rick and Morty official Rick and Morty subreddit. Uh, that community has has partnered with us for all sorts of great things on this podcast. Uh, Rick and Morty podcast.reddit.com where you can find over 2 million uh, fans of the show. Go hang out with them and uh, and typically see a lot of memes. But every so every once in a while, a, a particular post really, really rises to the top. And uh, Brandon has <laughs> Brandon has one special for us this week. What, what's what's the one that you pick? Cream, cream rises to the rises to the top. Uh, so, so this, this week, uh, what I did was what I want to do, well, I'll just say this, what I want to do is I want to, I want to, I want to get the, the, the Rick and Morty mods to to come out, you know, like their, their, their pick. I want, I want to look out there. I want to see what's hot, what's hot on the Rick and Morty subreddit and, uh, you know, and, and, and highlight some, some real good comments, real good posts. Well, what I did this week is I went out to the Rick and Morty subreddit and I, I, I went to top, I clicked the top button and then it says today. I'm like, no, no, fuck. No, I don't want just today. I want, I want top this week, top this week. And top this week is, is a post that says, why do I feel like I'm watching interdimensional cable? Uh, it has a bunch of awards. It's up been upvoted 29,000 times. Uh, and, um, uh, I, w- I want to say that I'm I am a, a Rick and Morty subra- uh, subreddit moderator, and so I just want to say a couple of the, the user reports that are in it. Uh, there's only there's two user reports here. Uh, one, it's promoting hate based on identity or vulnerability, and the other one is vertical video. That's the that's the <laughs> other that's the other user report for it. Which, which, uh, which I will say this is this is a repost of a TikTok. Which explains <laughs> explains the vertical video part of it. Um, this is this is a guy who is who has been making videos on TikTok, uh, asking, "Can you hit it with a hammer?" 
<laughs> and and it does have a definite interdimensional cable kind of vibe to it. Yes. Uh, so I so so a special award to the can I hit it with a hammer guy. Uh, the repost from uh, KT two eighteen on on Reddit uh, for the post of the week and some some comments that that are out there. Just uh, throwing some comments out there um, as as this loads up. Oops. Uh, it get stop stupid video. Okay. Jeez, it's uh whoa 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 hey whoa who who's wondering if they can hit it with that hammer? One hit it with a hammer. Two. Hit it with a hammer. Three, keep hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> uh, and that's how cute jingle with symbol clash. Then somebody else posts, now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then someone says, eat some shit, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found it interesting that the guy's name was Justin. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very, I mean, he's, he's, he's a step away from Royland at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's good. He I I I will I I don't want to spoil the video. Go check it out on Reddit. Um, follow the guy on TikTok if you're on TikTok. Uh, he does do another video where he hits a shower door with a hammer, mm. fully expecting the shower door to break. Will it break? You'll have to go check out his TikToks. I'm not gonna let you know. Will can you hit it with a hammer? Find out. Uh, <laughs> I think, well, the thing is, you uh, yeah, you can hit anything with a hammer. What will it do? That's the, I, th- that's... I think the, uh, the point of the show is, can you hit it with a hammer, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I Anyways, guess, I guess, I guess coming it's... Coming soon it's... to interdimensional cable. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, th- so that is it. I th- I think we don't really have anything except for the, the pronopsis. Oh, oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> no, that's right. The main, thing, the main thing, the main thing is... The Pronopsis. <laughs> We've, it's all it's all led up to this, uh, and so Travis, do do the honors. Give us the Pronopsis of this episode. Lots of news in this one, bro. And there you go. There you uh, go. So everyone, everyone who's listening, uh, we we do want to thank you for for listening and spending spending your time in whichever uh, vehicle of of audio that you are listening to us in. Absolutely. Uh, uh, special, if you, if, special listener suggestion and short out to Philip Marks ooh. 87 hanging out in the Twitch chat all night, p- just pumping us up and uh, and and bringing yeah. bringing all kinds of terrific comments. Thank thank you, Phil. He, he's do, doing the Christian Slater. He's pumping up the volume, pumping up the volume, pumping up the volume. Base base. Uh, if you if you guys if you want to hang out with us, uh, whenever we record a new episode of this or our other show, Apathetic Enthusiasm. Uh, you can come out to Twitch every Monday night. Uh, whether or not during our move, probably we'll we'll do something a little bit different. I might just do video games uh, when I'm gone. Travis might do whatever he's gonna do, or maybe we just do dance. nothing. You know, you, you, you don't know. You don't know what's <laughs> coming on, on Monday know. nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. You don't. You don't know. You don't know. But go to twitch.tv slash apathetic enthusiasm uh, every Monday night. Uh, go. You know, go out there right now and follow us and uh, get notified for, for when we go on the air. You can go to our social mediums. Uh, that is Twitter, Rick and Morty Pod, uh, Twitter.com, Rick and Morty Pod, Facebook doc, Facebook.com, Rick and Morty Pod. Yeah, I know. We got to do, I'm doing it at the end. You do them at the end. I get to do them at the end sometimes too. You know, you know, it's just you know, Rick and Morty at gmail.com on the web, uh, Reddit, uh, Rick and Morty Pod. Uh, yeah. um, I'm at Barnyard Cruise. He's at Juggle Mino. And uh, I just want to say, Thank you for listening. Thank you for for bearing with us all these years. You have been fantastic. Travis, final word. You get the final word this time. Final word is if you are watching live on Twitch, do not go anywhere because we are going to hang out and have a stream-only post show made just for you. Uh, Did you say not true? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so stick around. Everybody else, thank you so much for listening. We love you. Until next time, I'm Travis. And I'm Brandon. Goodbye. Bye. Unless you're on, uh, unless you're on Twitch, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you can say. That's the way the news goes.